Carl Jung, one of the most influential psychologists of the 20th century, had a lot to say about the limitations and potential dangers of science. Jung, who was himself a scientist, recognized the incredible power and potential of scientific inquiry, but he also saw its potential for harm. In particular, Jung warned about the dangers of reductionism, the idea that complex phenomena can be explained by breaking them down into their constituent parts. Reductionism is a hallmark of modern science, and it has led to some of the greatest discoveries and advances in human history. But according to Jung, it also has serious limitations. Jung argued that reductionism can lead us to overlook the larger, holistic picture and to miss the interconnectedness and interdependence of different parts of the world. By focusing exclusively on the smallest, most basic components of reality, we risk losing sight of the bigger picture, and we risk making serious mistakes in our understanding of the world. Another danger Jung warned about was the potential for science to become dogmatic, to become a kind of secular religion that insists on its own infallibility and superiority. This danger arises when we confuse scientific knowledge with absolute truth, and when we become too attached to our own theories and ideas. Jung believed that science should always be subject to scrutiny, questioning, and debate, and that scientists should always be open to the possibility that their theories and ideas may be wrong. He believed that science should be a tool for exploration and discovery, not a dogma to be defended at all costs. Finally, Jung warned about the potential for science to become divorced from ethics and morality. Science is a powerful tool, but it is morally neutral. It can be used for good or for ill, and it is up to us to ensure that it is used for the benefit of humanity. Jung believed that science must always be guided by ethical principles, and that scientists must always be aware of the potential ethical implications of their work. He believed that science should be used to promote human flourishing and not to exploit or harm others. In conclusion, Carl Jung's warnings about the limitations and potential dangers of science are more relevant today than ever before. As science continues to advance and shape our world, we must be careful not to overlook the larger picture, not to become too attached to our own theories, and not to lose sight of our ethical responsibilities. We must heed Jung's warnings and approach science with humility, curiosity, and a commitment to ethical principles. In fact, the implications of Jung's warnings extend far beyond just the realm of science. They are a reminder that we must approach all aspects of life with humility, curiosity, and a commitment to ethical principles. Whether it's our personal relationships, our careers, or our political beliefs, we must always be willing to question our assumptions and beliefs and be open to the possibility that we may be wrong. So let us heed Carl Jung's warnings and strive to live our lives with a sense of humility, curiosity, and a commitment to ethical principles. Only then can we hope to create a better world for ourselves and future generations. And if you found this discussion on Carl Jung and the potential dangers of science thought-provoking, I invite you to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on future videos. We explore a wide range of topics related to psychology, philosophy, and self-improvement, and I believe you'll find plenty of value and insights here. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and joining our community of curious and engaged learners. Thank you for watching.